time I enjoy. So very briefly, we are doing a study to look at the effects of an aerobic and religious exercise program and the effects of a health education program in terms of drug use, safety treatment, and um, at work called food, how they're feeling, and I can talk a little bit, health-related outcomes like blood pressure lab, um, and this, Strength, so how much weight they can lift, 
and then the exercise group in yellow is, is increasing by 49% the amount of weight that they can lift and 40% for the leg. The education group, little or no change. And finally, the um, change in repetitions and failure. So this is how many that they do, what their muscle endurance like. And again, we're looking at the exercise group doing much better. Um, they're increasing the, their muscle endurance by 96 and 120 percent respectively. Compared to the edgy group, it's a uh, little or no change. Now, this makes sense, right? I mean, you tell people to exercise, you give them a personal trainer, and they're going to hopefully be better. So that's great. Like, not about the science at all, but it's very basic, and it hasn't been studied before in the drug use population. So what we want to show with this preliminary study is our this intervention is working, and so far the good. Um, if we were seeing any changes with our guys that are exercising, then we'd be a little bit worried. But so far, it looks like we're on the right track. Now, I also want to show you about some cognitive data that we have. So, everyone who comes into the study, uh, we call them computer games, but they're really similar um, to cognitive tests. Um, they measure different um, brain functions. Um, the two choice reaction time test, alertness reaction time, drip test, people familiar with that, um, selective attention, and cognitive functioning, logical relations. Sort of build memory and then a memory um, serves as working memory. Okay, so our choice reaction time. On this computer test, participants are asked, they're shown two icons, a star and then a number sign. And they're asked if they see the star, press the left key, if they see the number sign, press the right key. So it's pretty much just are they paying attention and how quickly they can do it. Pre-intervention, post-intervention, pre-intervention is the baseline, post-intervention is the AP. And our exercise group, everybody's getting better from pre- to post-intervention, but our exercise group is doing significant better education groups, meaning they are getting more, um, getting more activities than the education group. So just briefly for people that aren't familiar, the congruence on the left-hand side, the true test is a measure where we're measuring executive functioning and being able to inhibit uh, what you want to say, your sort of frontal lobe. Um, so the words blue, red, and green are written on these paper. And, and, oh, it's written on a piece of paper, or on, and they're on the computer screen, and they're in the colors blue, red, and green. Okay, so blue is a blue, red is a red. That's the congruent one. And um, reaction time is how quickly they can respond, but they're just asked to read what the color is that they're seeing. Um, again, both groups do better. But you can see that our exercisers in yellow do significantly better than our people in the education group, meaning they are able to run more quickly after the eight weeks of education than, or I'm sorry, the eight weeks of exercise. Now the incongruent, we make this truth test harder, but we've got the same words, red, blue, and green, except this time red is written in blue, green is written in red, and we mix it all up for them, and they still have to read what name of the color is. So it's really a hard task, and you're thinking a lot more about the sort of name, what you want to um, say, just name the color of the ink. Um, again, you measure reaction times. You can see it's way harder because it takes people longer. Um, but again, our education group is doing better this time. They respond quicker than our education group. Our acting group responds better than our education group. Logical relations. So this test measures sort of verbal, verbal. Um, Verbal reasoning, they're shown a sentence which is number sign comes before amplitude. And that's the sentence. And then they're shown the number sign and the amplitude in different combinations. And they have to process whether or not what they see is a true statement. Does in fact the number sign come before the amplitude? So they've got to kind of go about it. Um, again, 
our exercise group is doing better than our education group. Everyone is improving. We definitely want to see that, but our exercise group improves in education uh, more than our education group has from day time to eight weeks. Finally, our memory system. This um, test participants are given a series of letters to remember, and they're asked to study it, and then the letters come up on the screen and they're asked what this one of the letters that you saw. So it's really just a great working memory. And here, both groups are doing better. Um, we don't have a of on memory search, um, but we do see that both groups are doing significantly better from um, baseline to eight weeks. So, um, people participating in our exercise regime, in addition to treatment as usual, um, have it's, the exercise seems to have added a positive benefit for their ability to process information to exhibit that the and Thank <laughs> you. 